I thought right to come back again and uh, talk about uh, the second biggest secret in Royal Q. This is the second biggest secret. Remember, those that have been with uh, following this YouTube channel for some time, uh, we were able to talk about uh, the first uh, uh, the first secret, right? We talked about the first secret of Royal Q, and uh, that was uh, uh, the change in percentage, right? The change in percentage. You looking at the change in percentage? That was the first, the first, the first. Uh, the first secret we are able to talk about in Royal Q that when you come in Royal Q and look at the percentage change, we have coins that are doing poorly up to coins that are doing well, right? And so today, I, I want to come up with uh, with uh, the second biggest secret. I want to come up with the second biggest secret. Now, the the, the second biggest secret is basically going to work so much. For people who love 0.5 to 5 percent per day, okay, you are these people that love 0.5 to 5 percent per day, and that this is basically a one-shot strategy setting, okay, a one-shot strategy setting, and in this one-shot strategy setting, we are basically looking at setting your trades using what you call a preset price. Now, how are you going to use this strategy? How are you going to use this strategy? First and foremost, you know, you want to be following because you need to follow to have results. You need to follow to have results. Now, basically, you can be able to look at uh, the performance of these coins, right? Wow, this is good. This is good. You can be able to look at uh, the performance of these coins, of these coins in your in your in your in your royal queue by tapping on the change in percentage. Now, basically, uh, let me start with, uh, let me say you want to trade Litcoin, all right? You want to trade Litcoin because uh, recently it did well. Maybe you want to trade Canva. Let us go to Canva that did well recently. So you go into your Binance account. All you can use uh, and you look for the name of the coin, right? So you go to your Binance account, tap on trades. Then look for the name of the coin. Let me say Canva. It's the one of the coins not doing well in the market. So you tap on Canva. Immediately you tap on Canva. On your top right, you see the graphs. Tap on the graphs. Now, I want you to just look at Canva. Let us look at it in one day. One day. Let us look at it in one day. Yesterday, Canva did well. But today, Canva is not doing well. So you either use the 15 minutes, all right? The 15 minutes time frame. So look at this as a gentleman. In the 15 minutes time frame, you can scroll a little bit back and you want to see, okay, you want to see uh, the last lower price. And uh, the last lower price currently, as you see right now, is 1.654, this one here. Now, instead of you joining this trade when it is here, you better set a preset price. Let me say if you are too early, this one. All, all, you can get a little bit back a little bit. But this one is 1.7. It was higher. And this one is 1.669. It is higher. So you do this one. 1.654. All you can do one day. If you look at one day. You can clearly see the last one it did, and that was, uh, this was on the 18th. It was 1.394. So, look. The next one is here. You can even look at down here, 1.559. And this was done on the 23rd. But if you want to be a little bit more better, because there's nothing you lose, you see, this, this is the recent one it has done, 1.654. Now, instead of you joining a trade from above here, which has already done, well, I better pick down. The market has gone down. You see, it has broken this area here, this support here. Now, it's, it is forming, it's going to form a new support. And once it forms the new support, you pick this coin as it was down here as your preset price. Let us look at another coin. Let us look at, uh, let me say, um, YFI. In the recent zoom we have done, 
we have used that the 15 minute time frame okay this is for our the 15 minutes time frame and i just want to give you confidence look in the 15 minutes time frame look at this we said you set this as the preset price here down here this one because you see the market did it here 86.7 down here and uh, immediately the market has come down it has hit the price now the market has gone up and someone has made profit from here you see so you set the preset price uh, some others use the one hour the one hour and in the one hour this was the preset price now if you use this as the preset price 85.3 it didn't hit it it stopped around here you have nothing to lose you have not traded that trade it's okay but if you use the 15 minutes time frame if you use the 15 minutes time frame and you took this pimba down here 86 points 86 867.7 it has hit the preset price and now the market is even right now if you look at the macd the market is crossing it's going high let me look at the rsi it's also pointing high ladies and gentlemen that is the power of a preset price and from here you can take two percent three percent five percent you are confidently picking your trade and like you see ah uh, you see let me check one of my trades and this is my trade. It's already doing 1.4%. It's already doing 1.4% using the 15 minutes time frame. It's already doing 1.45%, 1.3%. So it's going down, but it still go high. So I want to encourage you to use the preset price and keep winning, especially you people that want the one shot. So how do you set the one the preset price? How do you set the preset price? Let me say, let me look at inch. Let me look at inch. Uh, let me show you my preset price on inch. It is 0.652. Let us go into Binance account. Okay, let us leave that. Let us look at inch. 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 Inch performed well the other day. Let us look at inch. Setting a preset price as a winning strategy. Now, if you look at the, the, the preset price, already, instead of me joining this trade from up here, I pick a preset price. I can either pick this one that the market has done recently, one of its lowest low, because if it goes up, it will come back down. Yeah, it will retest this that it has done. All if I have fear, because it depends also your fear zone, eh? I can come back and pick this one. Okay, yes, because this is the, the, the support area. I can come back and also pick this one. I say if the market comes down again to this down preset price down here this one let my trade start and it is how much i can put before or after it is around uh, a 0 0.0034 now this is btc oh now i need to look for a pair of usdt uh, so we do we are doing inch one inch 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 this is it this is it i need this pair all right i need this pair okay now i'm talking about the power of a preset price so you see this person looked at this trade he wait calmly until this trade went down went down and let us you see now let us see if this market had done this in the past in the 15 minutes Okay, it was 0 0.67. Let's see. You see, the recent preset price was 0 0.694. Okay, let me see this one. It was 0 0.7694. This one down here. So if someone had maybe said, I'm picking this. You see, it had already done it. So this person would not pick it because it had already purchased, surpassed it. So instead of you joining trades that are already pumping, you better pick trades that are at the bottom. That's the main, main thing. You better pick trades that are at the bottom and then once they rise. So you look at trade, trade is going down. Let me look at one hour, one hour time frame. Okay. This is 0 0.67. It's the recent uh, uh, preset. Now you see okay uh you see the lowest one it has done 
it is 0 0.641 down here. That's the lowest one. So even if you had said 0 0.641, there's nothing you would lose. Yes, you would not enter the trade, but there's nothing you would lose. I don't know if people understand what I'm saying. You would miss out on the trade, but it's nothing you lose. But since you have been able to set several, since you have been able to set several, like uh, I was able to set YFI, YFI, look at this as a gentleman. Look at this. Since I was able to set several, now on YFI I'm winning. So you have different coins you are setting the preset price. And once you come back here, once you come back here, you see, it's already doing, it's already doing well, 1.5 percent. It's already giving a one dollar in profit, but my t my capital here was little. So if I had uh, set it for around 500 dollars, ladies and gentlemen, I would be already sitting in enough money. So understand joining trades at the bottom, picking trades with a preset price. So I'll be waiting for inch. Let me look at RSR. Okay, RSR. Let me come back here and let us look at RSR, RSR as a trade. Now, if you look at RSR, RSR, this is the trade in the 15 minutes. Let me put on one hour. Okay, so let me look at what I had set as my preset. Some might pick some 0 0.059. Okay. 0. 0. Point, uh, this is 0 0.6. So let me go back. Let me tap on the 15 minutes. 0 0.05. Let me just go back. When was that? Okay. This is the recent one. Zero point zero six is the recent one. Zero point zero six nine four. That's the recent one. So I don't need to go a little bit higher. Zero point zero zero seven. Let me use the one hour. I think. Give me a better picture. So I keep on going. Zero point zero zero six nine four. Let me see. Okay. My preset price is very far, right? I may not be able to hit it. Let me tap on the one day. Let me use the one day. I think I had used this. Okay. Okay, I think I used this. I used the one day. And by the way, I'm very far. These are so many days. Uh, okay, I just need to go back to the one hour. But you see here is a, a, a support. You see, I had used this because here there is a support. This is a confirmed support area. If you can see it, it's it's an area where the market has failed to penetrate. So I was waiting for it to come back here. But let me use the 15 minutes, all right? So if I'm going to use the 15 minutes time frame, now I'm going to set my preset price. I'll use this one. It's recent all-time low. Like if you go back to YFI, because if it doesn't pick up, I, there's nothing I lose. If we go back to YFI, I can either, I either picked up this or I could pick up this. This is within the last 24 hours. <coughs> this is within the last 24 hours. I hope you see this. This is the last 24 hours. But if I could pick on the 15 minutes, this was the recent one. And it peaked. So I can either use uh, the 24 hours because if, if it doesn't peak, I don't lose anything. But if I could, uh, let me just go to YFI, RISR here. Let me use the recent one. The recent one. The recent one. Because this is uh, within the 24 hours, all right? Mm -mm. Okay, if I'm going to use the recent one in the 15 minutes, that is uh, 0 0.0065. This one, 5.5, five, this one, in the 15 minutes. And it has happened today. So the market can still retest this. From up, it retests this, then it can come down. So let me go and I change my preset price of RSR 0. 
0 0.00655. So I come here, pause, pause the trade first. Then I come here, 0 0.0066, 6 what? 655. Now, how much do you risk 20% of your capital? Then, on your trade settings, you can have you can have always edit and have either you can have four or five or five it's okay five is okay these ones are default settings you don't even need to tamper with these margin calls here they are good what you need to tamper with is here to joke with your capital one that is maybe 15 you have one maybe to use little capital this is two that is 30 this is four this is six this is eight if you don't have this capital you can keep multiplying you can change this to 0 0.67. That is $10. This you put 1. That is 15. You keep on changing as long as your next purchase is bigger than your previous purchase. Then here you put 2. That is 30. Okay. Then be, maybe here you put 1.2. Then here you say maybe 1.8. Okay. Then here, because depending on your capital, then here you say 2 because this would be 15. This would be less than, 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 this would be 30, this would be less than 30. Then you confirm this. Then you save your trade. Then you tap start. Then you keep it on one shot. Then make sure the strategy mode, you put it from start. Submit mode your time settlement. If the market goes against you, you can open margin calls. Then you take profit. The lesser take profit you take, the better the opportunity. You see this one is doing 1.52%. 1.52%. This is too much take profit. 10%. It may not be doing. So that's why me, I better pick uh, around 1.5. Better take profit. If the market has good momentum, it will go up on that. If it has less, it will automatically sell. Then the other aspect, be patient with your trades. If you pick trades and trades stay long not doing well, be patient with your trades. We don't control the market. But when the market gets better, we win. We win. All right? Thank you so much. Hope you watch this. Learn to set your preset price and keep winning. Thank you so much.